Electrocution is another method of slaughter, as seen here. Throat slitting, however, is still the least expensive way to kill an animal. After knife sticking, pigs are shackled, suspended on a bleed rail, and immersed in scalding tanks to remove their bristle. Many are still struggling as they are dunked upside down in tanks of steaming water, where they are submerged and drowned. In regard to poultry, Americans currently consume as much chicken in a single day as they did in an entire year in 1930. The largest broiler companies in the world now slaughter more than 8.5 million birds in a single week. Debeaking prevents feather pecking and cannibalism in frustrated chickens, caused by overcrowding in single areas where they are unable to establish a social order. Today, done with infant chicks, the procedure is carried out very quickly, about 15 birds a minute. Such haste means the temperature and sharpness of the blade varies, resulting in sloppy cutting and serious injury to the bird. As for their living conditions, anywhere from 60 to 90,000 birds can be crowded together in a single building. The suffering for these animals is unrelenting. It is a way of life. Although their beaks are severed, they attempt to peck each other. For hens, they live in a laying warehouse, crammed inside so-called battery cages. Many lose their feathers and develop sores from rubbing against the wire cage. Crowding prevents them from spreading their wings, and the hens cannot even fulfill minimal natural instincts. During transportation, all animals suffer, and many die. and they suffocate when other animals pile on top of them in overcrowded, poorly loaded cages.
Chickens and turkeys are slaughtered in numerous ways. Some may be clubbed to death or have their heads cut off. The most are brought through the assembly lines of factory farms. Dangled upside down on a conveyor belt, their throats are slit, and they are left to bleed to death. Others may be placed head first in tubes to restrict their movement while they slowly bleed to death. Surely, if slaughterhouses had glass walls, would not all of us be vegetarians? But slaughterhouses do not have glass walls. The architecture of slaughter is opaque, designed in the interest of denial, to ensure that we will not see even if we wanted to look. And who wants to look? It was Emerson who observed more than a hundred years ago. You have dined, and however scrupulously the slaughterhouse is concealed in the graceful distance of miles, there is complicity. For those who think eating seafood is healthier than land animals, just remember how much irretrievable waste and contaminated sediments are dumped into our oceans. In the past, oil, nuclear, and chemical industries have done little for the protection of marine environments. And dumping on or under the seabed has always proved a convenient place to dispose of inconvenient wastes. Today's commercial fishers intensify this situation on massive scales. They use vast factory trawlers the size of football fields and advanced electronic equipment to track and catch fish. Huge nets stretch across the ocean, swallowing up everything in their path. These factory trawlers, coupled with our increased appetites for seafood, are emptying the oceans of sea life at an alarming pace. Already 13 of the 17 major global fisheries are depleted or in serious decline. The other four are overexploited or fully exploited. The recent outbreak of Physteria, a microorganism 1,000 times more potent than cyanide, spawned from millions of gallons of raw hog feces and urine, poured into rivers, lakes, and oceans, turning their ecosystems into unflushed toilets, is proving the most alarming. Threatening sea life and humans alike, Physteria has killed over one billion fish. The Southeast's largest fish kill on record 
and it's spreading. Traces of Fisteria have already been found from Long Island to the Florida Gulf at distances of up to 1,000 miles. In fact, this water-based Fisteria invasion stands as one of the worst outbreaks of a virulent microorganism in U.S. history. It is a level three biohazard. Ebola is a four. AIDS is a two. And this bug mutated as a direct result of our mass consumption of animals, particularly pork. With hog farms fattening millions of pigs for slaughter, grain goes in and waste comes out. This waste finds its way into our oceans and water supply systems, contaminating the animals that live in it, as well as those who eat from it. Finally whaling. Though the International Whaling Commission prohibited commercial whaling in 1985, many countries continue to kill whales for the so-called exotic meat. They use harpoons, firearms, blunt hooks, even explosives, or drive them into authorized whaling bays where they are made to beach and can be killed with knives in the shallows. Every winter, between the months of October through March, thousands of dolphins are confined and brutally killed in small towns across Japan. Sounding rods beneath the water's surface interfere with the dolphin sonar. Once disoriented and enclosed within the nets, the dolphins panic. Fishermen often injure a few captive dolphins with a spear thrust or knife slash, since dolphins never abandon wounded family members. Mothers and babies call out in distress as they are separated, hoisted up and dragged off, soon to be mercilessly hacked to death. These are benign and innocent beings, and they deserve better. Yet here, as they lay stricken and needful, writhing helplessly on cement floors, they are cut open with machetes and left to slowly suffocate. 